Yo, what is good guys, we're back with more tournament coverage, we got an ulti round 1 match between Ketutwerd and Zuchtrest, is how you pronounce it in German. He brings a team that my man Padlock made, it's actually Sub Glare, Leafstorm, HP Fire, Leftover Superior, Standard Mixed Defensive, Settle Stealer with Heavy Slam, Leech Seed, Flamethrower and Protect, Max Speed, uh, Max Attack, Adamant Terror Cross with SD, Close Combat, Rock Blast and Pin Missile, which looks really scary, like Ketutwerd has no switch-ins for the Heracross, and if the Superior can glare someone, then Heracross can outspeed them and destroy them. Lada has his Choice Scarf, which is <laughs> interesting to say the least, Defog, Healing Wish, Draco Media and Psyshock. Toxapex is Shed Shell to help with the Heatran match, uh, Max Spadef, Skull, Toxic, Spikes, Haze and Recover, just Max Spadef to help him check Greninja. Landris is um, a bulky Flyzy variant to help with the Halucha matchup and to help check Zygarde, I guess. Um, with Fly, Earthquake, U-Turn and Stealth Rock and with Speed to outspeed Heatran because this team is just kind of weak to Heatran. I mean, it's pretty weak to Heatran, not kind of. And on Ketutvert's side, I obviously don't know his team, um, but I assume there might be Scarf Greninja or he might just not have a Scarfer. Most likely Mega Alakazam, Rock Strand, Spike Skarmory, Assault vs Tangrowth. Zygarde could be Zemoth, but I'm not 100% sure about the Zygarde set just yet. Uh, Skamri is probably just Spikes, Brave, uh, well it doesn't have to be Brave, but Spikes, Roost, either Toxic, Brave Bird or Counter, and then the last move could be Defog maybe. Because he's really weak to Toxic Spikes, so Skamri has to be Defog, I feel, on this build. But yeah, looking at it, we have a Skamri versus Landris lead, so this is bad for Zuchtrest, I would just hard switch out, there's no point in U-turning and potentially taking Rocky Hammer, but he does U-turn, okay, not the biggest fan of that play, so he's gonna um, most likely just get up a spike here with the Skamri. Uh, Zuchtrest has the option to go into Pax, Celestealer or into Superior, as he does go Superior, throws off a spike, and now Ketutvet is gonna switch out into Tangros or Heatran. I assume Zuchtrest is just gonna start glaring stuff here. Um, if he can glare the Heatran on the switch, it would be cool for the Heracross. Um, Kedut obviously gonna switch out there. Even if he had Brave, but he was at minus one and Skamri has bad spadef, so there's no reason risking it, letting Skam take a HP fire. So Heatran comes out. Zuchtrest is gonna switch out in Toxapex here. Um, yeah, it's the Heatran check with Chat Shell, obviously. Uh, Ketutvert is either gonna Magma Storm, Lava Plume or Rocks here, I would probably just go for the Rocks as he throws off a Lava Plume. Um, gets the burn immediately, so this Pax is gonna get worn down, because as you guys can see, no Black Sludge, I already told you it's Shed Shell. Um, so Zuchtrest is probably just gonna get up a Toxic Spike here, Ketutvert throws off the Rocks, because Toxic Spikes are really good in this matchup, hit the Tangros, the Greninja, the Zygarde, and it all, they also hit the Zam if the Zam wants to Mega Evolve, so if Toxic Spikes up, Ketutvert is probably gonna have to stay regular form with the Alakazam to not get chipped. But yeah, eventually Ketutvert is gonna have to switch out, because he seems to be Lava Plume, um, Rocks, um, like he cannot touch the packs is what I'm trying to say, he can probably not kill the packs. So he doubles out into Ladi there, and he probably just wanted to get the Defog off. Ketut went into Zam just in case the packs stayed in and went for Scald. And um, yeah, Zuchtas is either gonna switch into Celestila or he's gonna Draco. I assume he's just gonna Draco because he's Choice Guard and he gets a crit which definitely mattered. Um, he stayed in regular form which means he definitely could not do too much to the Ladi. I'm gonna pull up a Kalk right here. So um, Ladias, Choice Scarf versus Alakazam. So Alakazam is in regular form. Um, Draco did 78.8 to 93.2 without the crit which means Alakazam would have lived it. And Shadow Ball would have, but Shadow Ball would have only done 47.6 to 56.2, so Ladi would have eaten the Shadow Ball. Would have still been good for Ketutwer to weaken the Ladi because the Ladi is the defogger. And now he goes Greninja, um, he's most likely, well, even if it's not Scarf Greninja, he's fine here because the Ladi's at minus two. Now a switch into either Celestila or Toxapex is gonna come out, most likely into Celestila to scout out the Greninja set because the Toxapex is already chipped down a little bit. But yeah, U-turns, which means he's most likely Scarf Gren. He could also be Z-Move Gren. Um, with like U-turn and Z-Low Kick, but I assume it's gonna be Scarf. So Heatran or um, Tangrowth have to come out, but they obviously didn't want to go Tangrowth and let it get poisoned for no reason. So Zuchtrest is free to click Protect here, just get some leftovers back as he doubles into Tangrowth to scout for Earthquake Celestila maybe? I'm not really sure why, or maybe he bricked it. I don't really know, dude. That was odd. He just let it get toxic for no reason from a T-Spike. Now Zuchtrest can just Protect again to get some more leftovers back. And uh, Ketut is probably just gonna click knockoff here. I don't know, if you wanna scout for Earthquake, like you can go into Skamri if you wanna scout for it that badly, but going Tangrowth there and letting it get poisoned was definitely not the play in my opinion. 
But yeah, now Zuchtas is gonna switch out here, most likely to Toxapex because rocks and spikes are up, and Pax has regen and doesn't worry, doesn't care about it too much. Uh, he doesn't want to go Heracross. If the rocks and the spikes are off, then he can also go Heracross later if he gets a defog with the Ladi. But for now, I think Pax is definitely the play. And Ktut can. Like, his, he doesn't really have a good double to punish the Pax because if he doubles into Zygarde, he gets Toxic from a T spike. So he's just in a really bad position here, and Zuchtas is so free to go in the Pax. Because, um, like I said, even if he doubles into Zygarde, it gets Toxic, and then Zuchtas still has the Landris to check the Zygarde. And now Zuchtras is probably just gonna go for recover here, keep the packs healthy. Ketut is kinda gonna have to switch into Zygarde because he can't really go to anything else to threaten the packs out. And um, yeah, now he gets toxic. Uh, I mean, not hard toxic, but affected by the T spikes by one layer. And now Zuchtras is gonna have to switch into Landris. Because he doesn't. The Heracross is not mega yet, and Hazards are up. And Landris only has to take rocks, it doesn't have to take spikes. But Landris would still take a good chunk from this if the Zagat is offensive, because this Landris has max HP and only 48 in defense, and it's adamant. So then 28, okay, that's not banded, I feel, because the Landris only has max HP and some defense. Um, so Skarmory is gonna come out here, which means uh, Zuchtrest could pull a double into his. maybe into his Ladi which covers the Skarmory and lets him get a defog off because he doesn't need the toxic spikes anymore because he already got everything poisoned that he needs to but he just went for Z-Fly which is a misplay in my opinion uh, Ketutwood was always going into Skarmory he has a Skarmory right there, why would he not go to it? I mean, maybe he predicted him to go in a tank and throw that out but that was really unlikely so he goes just into Ladi, wants to get a defog up off Ketutwood goes for the Roost I think doubling into Ladi would have been way better and saving the z for potential like bopping something later in the game, but yeah, it's fine. Uh, so Defog is definitely the play that Zuchtras is gonna make here. Um, Ketut Vert, I guess if he fears a trick, he could switch out. But even if the Ladi has trick, it's not gonna click it here. Like I said, the team preview, this is Defog healing with Drake with Psyshock Scarf Ladi. I know the team because my man Padlo posted it in the chat I'm in. So as Defog is gonna come out, he doesn't need the Toxic Spikes anymore. He already Toxic the Zygarde, the Gurren and the Tang. And Teetrin and Scum will never get affected by them anyway, so he can just defog them here. So if Ketut wants to predict the defog, he can probably just click spikes again with the Scumry here. He might also pull a switch. Yeah, but I would I would personally just click spike here if I'm Ketut, knowing that the defog is gonna come out. I mean I know the exact set that the Ladi has for so for me it would be super easy. Um if I but even if the Ladi has trick, like it's just obvious that he's gonna default because he doesn't need the T spikes anymore. It's just super obvious, even if he had trick. So he switches into Tangus. Not 100% sure what he predicted there, but now Zuchtest is free to switch out into Heracross. Uh, Ketutvet kinda has to double because he can't really let the Heracross come in on the Tangros because then it just claims a kill, kind of. Um, so he kinda has to double here. Probably into Skarmory because Skarmory can um, threaten the Heracross with like Toxic Counter or maybe Brave Bird, depending on the set, we don't know that. But yeah, it does make the double into Skarmory, which he had to make, in my opinion. And now Zuchtres scouts for Toxic Counter or Brave Bird, goes into Celestealer, makes the correct play. And now, um, I mean, Zuchtres can probably just click Leech Shield here, he doesn't really have to predict anything. He could technically put a double into Heracross, but that's just unnecessarily risky because Heracross. It's a kill whenever it comes in on the Parahedron, kind of. Um, well, it doesn't necessarily hard get a kill because I'm not sure if it outspeeds the Skarmory. It's adamant max speed, Hera. Let me see if that outspeeds Skarm. Um, so he just gets up a spike there. He, <laughs> I don't know if he breaks the lead sheet or if he breaks the double. Now he goes in the tank there. I'm not wanting to lose the Skarm as he goes Landris. Um, yeah, Skarmory is just gonna have to come back out here. Well, he could also stay in and just HP us, yeah. Yeah, he just lays in the HPS and kills the Landris. Okay, yeah, the Landris already used the Z-Fly, so he was completely free to stay in there. Now, Heracross just claims a kill. Zucht I guess Zucht didn't need the Landris that badly, because the Zagat is already poisoned and on a timer, and he also has the Superior that can resist 1,000 arrows. Um, so, yeah, I assume we're just going to see close combat come out here from the Heracross. But I still wanted to check the speed here from Heracross versus uh, Skarmory. Um, I guess he could also go for SD if he outspeeds D. Yeah, yeah. If he outspeeds the Skarmory, then he's free to go for SD. And if Skarmory comes out, then it gets bopped by a plus two close combat. So let me just call it um, if the Skarmory has some speed investment. The Heracross uh, hits 249 speed after it mega evolves with um, Adam and Max speed. And Adam, yeah. So it hits 249 Skarmory if it has 16 speed, only hits 180. So Heracross definitely outspeeds it, which means SD was a fine play. 
Um, because Katut, like, he had no switch in. Like, Greninja, even if he went Greninja, that can't kill the Heracross. If you break the SD. If he went uh, Trend, that's paralyzed, which means it's slower. So now he's just gonna have to pick a fodder. I mean, Tangros doesn't do much, so I assume he's just gonna sack the Tangros. And if Sutras doesn't want to lower his defenses, he can also go for Rock Blast, I guess. As he does go for Rock Blast. And yeah, I think this game is so over, like... Well, how does Ketutvet even threaten the Heracross out? Because the Skarmory is definitely slow. As he does go into Skarmory, that doesn't do anything. Because Heracross is fast, unless he's super speedy Skarmory. Um, but Heracross can just close combat here and pick off the kill, yeah. Not sure what he predicted there. I guess he gets hel yeah he gets helmet damage on the yeah he gets helmet damage on the Heracross and he gets a defense drop, which means now um, Greninja can probably threaten out the Heracross um, with Ice Beam. I don't know if that would kill, or maybe he has Hydro Pump. But I assume he's just gonna Ice Beam, right? Uh, Scarf Gran usually doesn't run HP Fire, so I assume he's just gonna Ice Beam here. So Zuchteras is free to go into Pax um, or Salas Dealer. I would probably just go Pax because Pax is already burned which means it can't get frozen and I guess Ketut I mean Ketut has no play at this point he can't leave an ice beam free through his opponent's team because Pax is there and it's already frozen uh, burned not frozen my bad so he goes Celestila and could technically get frozen but doesn't yeah I would have gone Pax there but Celestila was also completely fine and now he just gets to click Leech Seed here. Um, yeah, Kratut is going to have to switch out on the Heatran, pretty obvious. Now, Sultras is so free to go into Toxapex. The Heatran is Leech Seed, which means the Pex beats it even easier. Uh, there's just nothing Zuchtas can do. I guess he can potentially double into Zygarde, breaking the Pex. But honestly, that doesn't even accomplish anything at this point. This game is just over. He says it's lagging. I mean, the game is also over. Well, I guess... He can still keep playing and hope for his opponent to throw the game out the window, <laughs> but this game is super over. Um, Pex is really obvious. Does he predict that with a double or does he just get the rocks up? He does double into Zyga breaking the Pex, so good play there, but it doesn't matter too much. Um, Zyga gets chipped more from the poison. Now we can just go into Superior because it does resist 1000 arrows. So Superior is definitely the play here, and even if he tries to be a setup variant, um, okay, he just saws an arrow. Like, he's t poison, which means he can't really set up for free. And also, Puria's probably just gonna fire off a Leaf Storm or a sub. Well, sub is actually the better play, yeah. Uh, as he does make the correct play in subs. Because if Heatran comes out, there was no reason to Leaf Storm into that, because he actually cannot touch the Heatran, he can only Leaf Storm it. But now, since you sub, um, the Heatran has to break the sub, and there's a chance that it will get paralyzed. So, subbing first was definitely better. Yeah, there was like no reason to hard leaf them. I mean, he could have also hard leafed them and kept the health. It made like no difference. Now he can just go back into packs. Let's see if he predicts that with a double switch. I mean, honestly, he can. He just lava plumes. Yeah, he can't win this game, is what I'm trying to say. Um, so Zuchtra is free to click Scald right here. I guess Katut can try to go Zygarde as he does go hard Zygarde. Uh, Zygarde is going to be super low here. And yeah, Zuchtra is just going to switch out back into Zapiria. Because he always wants to keep the packs around. Pax is like the one one that guarantees him the win versus Greninja because the rest of the team can technically technically get frozen. He reveals rest. I didn't run a card earlier if the Zygarde is banded rest or if it's... Did it have an item? I don't think the Zygarde had an item. I really didn't pay attention. So now he just goes in the Heracross. Um, but that doesn't work out too well because he doubles in the Greninja. Heracross might be able to live a hit. It definitely should live Ice Beam, right? Because it doesn't have the defense drop that it had earlier from the close combat but if he doesn't want to risk anything he can just switch out into Celestial or Pex he just spikes right there I mean I would have gone to Pex because why would you risk getting frozen on Celestial but yeah it's fine um, so yeah he still kept Heracross around because obviously he gets a kill whenever it comes in on the Heatran or on the Zyga that is asleep so now just Leech Seeds he goes back into Pex here for free even if Katut pulls a double um, the Zyga is asleep Oh, he goes Ladi to get the defog off, which makes sense as well. As he doubles into Zygarde, breaking the packs. Okay, so yeah, going Ladi was the better play to get the defog off. Well, he can also Draco, but I think I would defog. Because the trend is gonna come out here. I guess he might Draco into the trend, but... I think defog is the better play. As he does just Draco in case the Zygarde wants to stay in to and predict the defog. Which is also understandable. Um, because if you defog, then the trend is just gonna get rocks back up. But I think the spikes are a bit annoying. But yeah, this Pex comes out. Like, you can always fish for Para as well. I mean, the spikes are not too bad. Um, Pex has regen, and 
Vladi and Celis are not affected. So he keeps doubling Zygarde in, makes some good plays, but like he's too far behind. And he doesn't even have sleep talk, it seems. So yeah, this game looks over. So Superior can just click Leaf Storm here, or... Yeah, I don't think you want to sub, because you'd get too low. Just Leaf Storm, I think? Misses, which doesn't really matter. Because you want to get some extra leftovers recovery, that's why he stayed into Leaf Storm there. Leaf Storms again, um, why? That was unnecessary, he sexes Superior. Why did you do that, dude? That was not the play. I think he still wins and it doesn't matter at all, because now he just gets Heracross and he gets a kill, so it's fine. But I don't... I would not have thrown out my Thousand Arrows resist like that. Um, it was not necessary. He wins anyway, but it was not necessary. So now um, Greninja can threaten us out with an Ice Beam once again. And I still don't think he's gonna stay in. He's probably just gonna switch back into Pax or Celesteela. Keeps going Celesteela. I don't know why exactly. So Ketut's gonna have to switch here or hope for the freeze. But even if he gets the freeze, Greninja's pretty much dead. So goes Zygarde here. I think we're just gonna see Protect or Leech Seed. Goes for Protect, just playing it safe, not getting fr not just the freeze there. I can just Leech Seed, I think the Zygarde is asleep for another turn, so can't really do anything. And now we can pretty much do whatever he wants, I guess he might. Goes in the Lali, because um, he knows Lali can live a thousand arrows, yeah. And now he can Draco, as long as he hits it will kill. It will get a kill, Greninja's had 3% after rocks, or 2%. So he's just gonna drag, or he does hit, and the Zygarde goes down, and Scarf Greninja, which is at like 2 or 3%, cannot win this game. So he's gonna click Ice Beam here, um, or whatever, and kill the Lari, actually, as it gives him the sack, he's nice. And now he can go, and he can't, doesn't even have to go to anything, because Greninja just dies to the poison. So that was game one, this is the best of three, you guys know how ulti works, and I will catch you later with game two. Um, yeah, pretty much, sometimes I said Suchtrest, because that's how you say it if you're American or English, and then I said... Suchtrest sometimes, which is how you would say it if you're German, and I'm German, so that's just the way I would say it. But I thank you guys for watching, smash that like button if you enjoyed, have a fantastic day and peace out friends.